Hey everyone! So Santa Fe has announced that classes will be held online for the rest of the semester. I'll be doing my best to start getting each week's lecture videos up during the weekend before so that you have more time to work and ask questions at your own pace. Please just bear with me as a lot of this is sudden for me too. So I'll continue to update you with information about how we'll be learning together online for the rest of the semester. I'm going to send out a survey soon to find out what might work best for you, and we'll work through this together. If at any point you have questions or concerns, reach out. I'm happy to work with you during this time to make sure you get the most out of this class with as little stress as possible. It's understandable if you're stressed or confused right now about school or anything else. A lot of things are in flux at the moment. We're all adjusting day by day. I'm here to work with you. I'm here to help you. So another important update is that Santa Fe has indicated that for the time being, campus itself is closed too, which means a lot of access to library computers and other resources um, you know, are not currently available in person. The college is doing what it can to adjust and still provide you remote access, um, internet access to what services they can. In the next lecture video, I'm going to be talking about library research. Uh, so we will get into that in more detail uh, throughout the rest of the semester, really. Uh, but I did want to note, especially if you've got other courses where you might be writing papers or have to do research, that you still will have access to you know, a lot of online library resources. So how many of you actually take out physical books from the library anyway? I was going to encourage you to do that for um, our final paper, but we've got plenty of other things to work with. So like I said, next time we're gonna dig in a little bit deeper, but right away you can see that we do have plenty of eBooks, right? So you can do a search for you know, whatever it is that you might be working on a paper for. And there are digital copies of books that we have and don't have um, in the physical library. There's also many a database for research needs, accessing online articles um, from all over, lots of academic sources, lots of other internet sources, which I'll be going through some examples of that next time. But you can see that it's a lot. And these are just databases, and each database has access to hundreds, possibly thousands of publications. Uh, we've even got films on demand, uh, probably educational ones, but nonetheless, maybe useful. Uh, so we've got stuff here. You're not going to be locked out of research, um, even though the library is closed. You can also take a look at the research help section. And so if you need to uh, contact a librarian. There's the email, there's frequently asked questions, and there is a chat service. I'm not sure yet how the hours for that might go, but I do know that pretty much every department at the college is working to function remotely, even if it's in a slightly different capacity. So there will still be librarians to help you, and there will still be tutors to help you. So that brings me to the learning comments. Now what about the learning comments? That's an issue as well. I know for some of you who make use of some of our fantastic um, tutors at the learning commons at our library. So if you would like to continue to re receive tutoring, you can. Um, if you go to the learning commons webpage, I'm going to send you a link to these things too. You can see that they've added uh, online options. So you can take a look at those. And so we still have success coaching. We still have tutoring and uh, math and writing in various subjects. So all of that information is here. And it's important to still take advantage of those resources as the college works to get them online. It might take them a little bit of time to get things running smoothly, but Santa Fe is dedicated to still making sure even as we move online, that you're getting the help that you need. Another issue that could come up for some of you is that you use um, copies of our textbook or your other textbooks via the library reserve. And so if that's the case, there's still help out there for you too. 
So there are several websites. I've sent you a list in an email. But Vital Source is one that I have found pretty reliable, and it does provide free access to the Norton Field Guide to Writing. So I've included that link in my most recent email and given you some information about how to sign up. But you can see that there are companies out there, publishers, uh, different educational resources who recognize how tough this is right now for a lot of people to access what they need, to keep learning, to adjust to a lot of changes. And so they are offering free materials, free textbook access. That's something that if that might be a need for you, check it out and they'll guide you through you know, how to access the textbooks they have available. If you have a class where you need the textbook but Vital Source doesn't have access, there are other ones that I have included in the email that you might also check out. So as I've said before, when I find out new information that I think you know is important to you, will help you, I will of course let you know. For now, Focus on the assignments you have for this week and the reading if you haven't completed it yet. So you have your brief response and the discussion board post due on Friday. Tomorrow I'll be posting the next lecture video and in that one I'll be talking a bit more about the Walking Dead um, articles and the ethics reading and looking at how would we write full critique paragraphs for these sources a synthesis paragraph, which is something else that belongs in your critique essay, and then we'll look at beginning research uh, for your critique project, as well as going over what's the schedule going to look like for next week. So I'll let you know when that video is up. I'll send out a message. If you've got questions for me in the meantime or any concerns, please, as always, reach out. All right. Thanks, everybody.